Here the um, problem asks me to construct a truth table for this following statement. It's fairly complicated, but you simply take it one step at a time. It only has two different statements, P and Q, so your truth table for this problem is going to have uh, four possibilities. And they are, as you know by now, I think, they could both be true, the P could be true, the Q could be false, the P could be false, the Q could be true, or they could both be false. Now you'll notice I left a lot of room here because the way I do this, I like to show my preliminary work as I move along from left to right and then when I finally finish, I'll have the result that really belongs in this column. That's, that's the way I like to do it. So taking it one row at a time and literally looking at it one row at a time, in this case both P and Q are true, so I will literally put in true for P and true for Q. Notice that negation is there so it remains. I've got another implication and then I've got Q which I'm assuming is true now or not true. Now you can move down and do these one at a time or you can simplify them as you go. And that's totally up to you. I sort of like to move down and that's just a personal preference. So I'm going to move down and do the next one. This time I'm assuming P is true but this time Q is false. So everywhere there's a P I put a T, and a capital T for true and everywhere there's a Q I put a false for uh, an F for false. So I get negation of P this time stays true implication not Q but this time Q is false implication Q is false this time or not P and P is true so be not T Okay, again, I'm going to move down first. So the next one would be P is false and Q is true. So I keep playing the same game. In place of P now, I put false because I'm assuming P is false. And in place of Q, I now put true because I'm assuming Q is true. Okay, keep moving along. In place of Q, I have true. In place of P, I have F. Okay. And the last one. So the negation of, this time they're both false, so both P and Q get replaced with a capital F for false. Okay. Now I'm ready to start simplifying. And again, I'm just doing it one stage at a time, so I'm going to use the equivalent symbol just to tag these two together, the two pieces together as I move across. And I start simplifying. And what I notice through all of these is that I have not T's and not F's. Well, not true is false, and not false is true, so I'm going to go through there and simplify those. Take your time, don't get in a hurry, and show as much work as you need to to make sure you don't miss anything. So you implies not true is false. And then another implication. And then true or false. True or false. And then I'll move down to this one. Again, I'm just replacing all the not whatevers with their negation. So I get true implies true. And then false implies false. Or not false implies fault, false or false. 
third line, same thing. False stays false. Not true is false. True stays true, or not false is true. And I'm back to the fourth line again. Not false stays false implies not false is true implies false stays false or not false is true. This is tedious, but it's not difficult at all. Okay, so I continue my uh, my uh, equivalences to show that I'm just moving from one equivalent statement to the next as I go from left to right. Now it's time to tackle these implications. I've still got this negation out front, so let's go ahead and get that taken care of. So I'm sort of looking at the pattern. I know all of those will have that. Now I'm looking at implication. I'm doing true implies false. Let me remind you once again, when you're dealing with implication, there's only one place in your truth table for implication where you get a false, and that is true implies false. Unless it says true implies false, the implication is going to be true. So true implies false is the only false. Well, it just so happens that is true implies false, so that one would be false. Now we've got um, another implication, I mean, excuse me, another implication here. Pointed at the wrong one. And now we've got true or false. Now remember, that takes us back to the truth table for the or. And I'll just remind you again very quickly, the truth tables for the or, it's only false if they're both false. So unless they're both false, it will be true. It's only false when, it's, when they're both false. Well, they're not both false here, so that would be true. And so now we've simplified those two. Now move down here. Okay, we're back to the implication. True implies true is true. Remember, there's only one false case for the implication. And if it, if it makes you feel better, you can go ahead and do your implications and move down here. I don't know. False implies false is true. You can do these in so many different ways as long as you're careful. False implies true. That's the only combination for the implication that gives a false. So that would be false. Just, um, excuse me, that's not the only one. That's true. Excuse me. And you've got to be careful, you've got to practice this. It's so easy to make a mistake here. True implies false is the only one that's false. False implies true is true. In other words, if the P is false, it's always going to be true. The only way an implication can be false is if the P is true and the Q is false. And I almost made a mistake here. Just take a word of warning there. You have to be careful. Okay. So I've gotten all of these done. I went ahead and did them. Now I've got this implication here written down, so I need to move over and finish these off. Now I'm doing ORs again. I'm back to ORs. And remember, the only time an OR is false if they're both, is if they're both false. And there it is right there. They're both false. They're not both false here, so that must be true. And they're not both false there, so that must be true. Okay. Now I'm sort of home free. I've still got that negation sitting out there, so I'm going to keep writing it down. So I've got not, 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 and not. And then I work here. This is another implication. Just as, just as before, the only time an implication is false is if the um, if is true and the then is false, or the P is true and the then is false. So that case is a false, and that's the only one. So I'll go ahead and put the false right there. And none of the others are true implies false, so they're all true. So I get T, T, 
and T. But remember that there's a negation in front of all those. So to finish this thing off, you just get rid of the negation. So not true is false. Not false is true. Not true is false. And not true is false. Now, by doing this the way I do it, I sort of leave a mess in this last column. So it would, if I'm in, if I'm insisting on doing it this way, I guess I pay the price of of feeling like I should clean off my preliminary work and write this more cleanly. So at at the end, after I did this, I would feel better if I sort of cleaned it up. So I've got true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. And all this in here is just my preliminary work. What I really want for my final result is, the, is at the end here. So I'll just say that's false, true, false, false. So I did it all up here, but that just looks better because now I've cleaned it up. So that is the truth table for the original statement.